a, a general one general aspect of restoration design however you guys whatever project we're doing that you might want to consider and sort of the the if we know nothing else one of the default things you can do is add in heterogeneity okay so add in variations whatever that means that could be elevational heterogeneity that could mean width of channel that could mean the planting palette you're using whatever so two things one we might uh, 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 things might not fall out exactly as we planned one two conditions might change sea level rise changing climate an invasive species something of that nature so by adding adding variation that's sort of a hedging of our bets right so maybe it's not all the flat planal area uh, as much as we could have maybe it's less of that but then we have a little bit of the elevated a little bit of the dip and that assures us that if the water level say radically changes there still would be some refuge for some of these critters or some of these plants an example of that is right here so um uh we can see this snag that's, that fell it's fallen down right so we might initially think that oh that that's sort of ugly or that's in the way or that's you know that's not designed well or something um it's actually really helpful right so now there's some places for some of the perching birds to rest on right to either get dry to see some prey something of that nature and so um uh this i think just washed in but you can also add that into your design. You can actually take some dead wood, for example, and actively place that dead wood. Uh, now we wouldn't want to do that maybe in the middle of the main channel where it might flow and tumble and hit, you know, a, the bridge bridge pylon or something. But, but short of that, adding in some of these, this heterogeneity can be great. So we could do that by dumping a bunch of rocks, a little, little rocky area that would sort of be, be raised and wouldn't erode. We could add some wood structure we can do a whole variety of things to build in heterogeneity, just again, to hedge our bets. Let's see. Okay, so all this area has been planted. Obviously we're much higher elevation here, right? So check it out. So this is probably like 15 feet or so above sea level-ish, right? <clears throat> So this, this grassy looking thing right here is giant wild rye, a native, native plant. But, and then we, we have uh, this stuff here. Uh, if, I, if we look at it, this it looks like an arrowhead type of leaf. This is Atriplex, which is the genus A-T-R-I-P-L-E-X, Atriplex. Many species of Atriplex are, are in and or around our salt marshes. They hybridize or they can hybridize. Um, but this, this is a really classic sort of upper edge, uh, almost, you know, maybe almost out of the salt marsh, but sort of upper salt marsh vegetation plant. It makes these sort of shrubby things. So also from a design perspective, sometimes we use plants that maybe, I mean, they're native, which is important, um, but also the, the gross characteristics might be important for us. So we could have planted maybe any plant here, but by planting a shrub, it's relatively robust, right? It sort of acts to make sure people aren't gonna accidentally walk in here. So sometimes we pick things, maybe they might have some more thorns or something like that to sort of encourage people to stay on the trail or, or you know, something of that nature. And so, so sometimes in our planting palette or design, it's, it's, you know, what's the diversity? What's the biodiversity function we're trying to serve? Sometimes it's more of a, it's more of a, a people management um, um, decision. And, uh, and that's cool too. So again, this whole area here has been planted and if you notice, this is the least, you know, just some walking down here, this is the least uh, uh, percent cover or lowest percent cover of area. And that's because it's just the driest and it takes longer for these plants to establish. So even though this has been, you know, uh, what has it been like seven years or so, it, it's, you know, it, it's never gonna be like, or rarely gonna be a complete dominant kind of thing uh, in terms of closed canopy, a shrub cover. Um, but nevertheless, it's, it's markedly less than the middle zone and the middle is usually less than the low zone. Okay, cool. Questions?